22nd March 2023 Morning Murli Om Shanti Bhaktada Madhupan Sweet choosing to remain soul conscious is a high destination. Only those who are soul conscious are said to be the godly community. They do not think of anything except the Father and the Supreme Abode. Question By doing which one thing are you able to accumulate treasure in your treasure store for 21 births? Answer Benefiting yourselves and others by following Srimad. Those who are completely soul conscious and whose intellects are pure are able to benefit others. When you become body conscious, harm is done and the accumulated treasures end and there is then a loss. Even the evil spirit of anger makes you cause harm. Therefore, make your nature very very sweet. Song Who has come to thee in the early morning hours? Om Shanti When the Supreme Soul, the Father comes and meets the living beings, those souls forget that they are human beings. They have the faith that they are souls and that they are the children of the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul and whatever else they see, including bodies and bodily relationships etc. None of those is remembered. The Father comes to take your children back. You are then surprised at what is happening. The dark night of Brahma is coming to an end and the dawn is coming. Connections with the bodies and body relations are broken. Therefore, you are surprised at what happens. You no longer see this old world. You think only of the Father and the Supreme Abode. This is a wonder. However, because of not completely recognizing the Father or because your intellect's yoga is not connected to Him, body consciousness does not completely finish. We call them the monkey community. When they become soul conscious, they are called the godly community. There is the example of the monkey community in the form of Narak. He was a devotee who used to go around holding a musical instrument. The father showed him, Look you, belong to the monkey community. It is very difficult to remain soul conscious. Even though you remain pure, it is a high destination. There are good and bad human beings. Sannyasis leave their households and become pure. Householders who are not going to leave their homes make those sannyasis their gurus. All human beings of the Iron Age world are atheists and orphans. They call out, O oh God, O oh Supreme Father, Supreme Soul. Ultimately, however, they don't know who he is. While calling out, they have all become tired. They say that God is omnipresent. They pray to him, but they don't know him. This is something to be understood. God speaks. God speaks. It's also mentioned in the Gita. This is the devilish community. Why has God said that? You are like monkeys. Look at your faces and the mirror. They don't know God and so they content to search for Him. Therefore, human beings have to find God. They look for Him, but they can't find Him. So only when God comes, can He give His own introduction. His complete introduction is mentioned in the Gita. He says, I am a Rudra. I, Rudra, have created the sacrificial fire of knowledge. If you say that Sri Krishna created it, then Sri Krishna would say, I, Sri Krishna, am teaching you Raj Yoga. However, 
there is no sacrificial fire of the knowledge of Shri Krishna. Only your children know this. All other human beings are iron age. They only content to make stones emerge from their mouths. It is said of Santan who tells lies. That one's face is ugly. At the time when the sannyasis religion is established, the world is in the Raja stage. Therefore, that pure religion is established to remain, maintain the purity in Bharat. They are called Raja Guni sannyasis. They definitely have renunciation. But that is Raja Guni. They are not such a Pradhan. When people begin to burn in Bharat by sitting on the power of lost, that renunciation becomes part of the drama that cannot be called easy Raj Yoga. God did not teach that. They don't know God. They have made a huge mistake by taking Shri Krishna into the copper age. The father sits here and explains to the human beings who made this mistake. However, there has to be great refinement in explaining this. Sannyasis say that you are defaming the religion of renunciation. Tell them, come and understand. First of all, tell us what you mean by defamation. God, the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, who is the Father of all, and the God of the Gita, not Sri Krishna, has explained this. The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, has come and told us that this is the end of the Iron Age. The intellects of people have become completely decayed and devilish. This is an impure, devilish kingdom. In the Golden Age, there is a pure deity kingdom. Those people, many sannyasis believe that they are God, but they are not. The God of everyone is just the one whom everyone remembers. This is something to be understood. If you want to understand, then understand. However, those who explain have to be very refined. What about those who have an evil spirit of anger in them? Be able to explain. There are the evil spirits of anger, greed and attachment. There are small evil spirits and big ones. People have dirty habits. Maya makes even good children do something or other. All of that is the devilish behavior of body consciousness. When body consciousness comes, you become like a monkey and you cannot then become worthy of being in a temple. You know that only deities become worthy of being in a temple. Temples are built to them alone. The whole world of the Golden Age is called Shivalya, men's temple of Shiv. All of them reside in the temple. The whole world becomes a pure temple. The world becomes Shivalya, in which the kings, queens, and subjects all remain pure. Therefore, you have to explain to others tactfully. A mouse bites and also blows. It has that much sense. When a sannyasis etc. comes, first of all, praise him diplomatically. Come, sannyasi ji, you are very good that you have renounced everything. You have left your home. Do you know that there are two types of renunciation? One is the renunciation of leaving your home and family and the other is of not renouncing your home and family. You have to live at home with your family, study Raj Yoga and become a master of heaven. Have you ever heard of this? He would say this is not mentioned in any of the scriptures. They have put Sri Krishna's name in the Gita and taken him into the Copper Age. So how could they understand? You then have to explain using the pictures. Your renunciation is that of leaving your home and family. Not everyone would leave. This is a family path. You did not renounce the five vices 
while still living at home with your family. We do that and will receive help from the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. By living at home and renouncing the five vices in this way, we will become the masters of heaven. The deities were pure in the golden age. They are not that now. After the iron age, the golden age has to come. Only the father comes and establishes the golden age. He makes us as pure as a lotus while we live at home. You see that cotton wool and fire cannot live together, but we live like that here. You have no aim or objective for any attainment. When the unlimited father comes, the new world is established and the old world is destroyed. We receive this knowledge for the new world. The father says, whatever relationships, etc. you have, including that with your body, forget all of them. Consider yourselves to be a soul and remember me. This Raj Yuga of ours is Satu Pradhan. Everything is now Tama Pradhan. Then from being Tama Pradhan, the world shortly has to become Satu Pradhan. It is only the Father, the Creator, who makes it Satu Pradhan. We are learning this from the Unlimited Father. God is only one. Even Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar are called deities. Those on the floor below them are called human beings. God resides on the supreme abode. We souls also reside there. Explain with such a refinement. However, if there isn't full yoga, you are unable to embed. None of you is able to remember what the father explains to you. Although some children say that they remember Baba, Baba doesn't believe them. If you remembered me, your intellects would become pure and you would be able to embed this very well. If you do embed this, you also have to inspire others to do the same. You have to benefit others. You know that the father comes and benefits everyone. Maya Raven harms everyone. The father comes and benefits you just once to such an extent that you are benefited for 21 births, you can call it benefit or his mercy. You can even call it his blessings. Then from the copper age, there are no longer his blessings. Raven causes harm. By following Srimad, you can benefit anyone. However, when you become body conscious, you begin to cause harm. By benefiting others, you accumulate treasures in your treasure store for your future 21 boats. By causing harm, whatever you have accumulated aims. Since you know how to benefit others, you also have to do that. If you don't know how to benefit someone, you would surely only harm them by following devilish dictates. People only harm one another. They use the sword of lust. They forget the father, they forget to benefit others and so they would definitely become those who cause harm in a second, they benefit others and then in a second they cause harm. Some good children used to benefit others so much. They knew how to benefit others. They knew the way to benefit themselves and also others. Then they were caught in a spin of Maya and run away. They became those who caused harm. They caused so much harm. People think something must have happened that they ran away. So how can we go there? They tell all sorts of stories. Then whatever you have accumulated in your account by benefiting others, you turn that account into dust by causing harm. There have been many such cases and there will continue to be more. Those who had benefited are those that became body conscious and begin to cause harm. Human beings cause harm to human beings. No one can benefit anyone until they follow Srimad. It is the dictates of Ravan that make you cause harm. 
One minute you are following Srimad and the next minute you begin to follow the dictates of Ravan. The evil spirit of anger comes and you cause harm. You then cause the father to be accused of causing harm. You bring the feminism to him. What would the father see? Can God's children be like this? They then leave his heart. When an evil spirit is removed from someone, that one is praised. Anger is very bad and this is why Baba always says become sweet tempered. To have an angry temperament is ignorance. The father explains, you have to let go of all attachment completely. When all attachment is gradually broken, you will ultimately become complete and perfect. This is a race. Your children know that Mama and Baba reach their target first. Therefore, you should follow their directions and follow them. You should embed this. If you climb into the hearts of the mother and father, you will also claim the throne. Ask yourselves, have I become worthy of marrying Lakshmi? That is, have I become worthy of claiming the throne of the mother and father? If you feel that you have anger in you, you can never climb into their hearts, nor will you become an emperor or empresses in the future. You have to follow Srimad at every step. If you become a traitor, you would then become a cremator. Everything that Baba tells you every day is identical to that which he told you in the previous cycle. There cannot be the slightest difference in that. You should have so much intoxication of knowledge. However, it will be those who are engaged in doing service who will have this intoxication. Whatever type of service you do, you definitely receive the fruit of that. Number one is to give knowledge. You have to give happiness to many others and make them into rulers of the globe. You will make many others this. You are shown many good methods for doing service. Service can be done anywhere. Then perhaps one out of hundred would awaken. This is something that requires effort. Baba churns the ocean of knowledge in this way day and night. He has many different types of thought. There are so many obstacles. The world has to be made into pure heaven. He has many thoughts about this and while he thinks about this, night changes into day. This is why conquerors of sleep is remembered. Sometimes Baba is not even able to sleep. He has to make the children into the masters of the world and so he is so concerned. Your children should also be concerned and have to check to what extent you follow Srimad. Your children have to give your shoulder to Ba and Dada. The whole world has to be sent back home. Acha to the sweetest, be loved, long lost, and love from children, love, remembrance, and good morning from the mother, the father, Bhaktada, the spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the Dharna. First point, never follow the dictates of Ravan and thereby become body conscious and cause the father harm. You mustn't cause him to be different. Benefit yourselves and everyone else by following Srimad. Second point, don't allow an evil spirit of anger to enter you. Make your nature very sweet. Serve tactfully. Blessing. May you be a master bestower of happiness and constantly give the experience of happiness to all souls who come into contact with you. Explanation. You are a master bestower of happiness, a child of the bestower of happiness, and so continue to accumulate in your account of happiness. Do not just check that you did not cut sorrow for anyone throughout the day. 
but check how many you gave happiness to. Whoever comes into contact with you, let them experience happiness at every step by your being a master bestower of happiness. This is known as divinity and spirituality. Remain aware at every moment that in this one birth, you have to accumulate in your account of happiness for 21 births. Slogan Make the one father your world and you will continue to receive imperishable attainments. Aum Shanti